All right, so we're at the kind of final level of the game. Awesome. So when we get to the final save point, it'll unlock all the other stuff we can do, right? <laughs> yes. The Judgment House, which doesn't actually exist, but it seems like a thing that could exist. Danger. The Judgment House isn't real. It exists only in your mind. I always heard this place was such an interesting museum back in its heyday. Now it's just a place propped up by rusty nails and rumors. A place you wouldn't dare your worst enemy to go into. Alright, there it is, Judgment House. This abandoned place isn't so abandoned after all. I hate it when I'm right. Daddy backs. <laughs> and then a cut. So, yeah. Uh, this whole level is just really fu filled with uh, collectibles, so I had to look up where everything was, <laughs> which meant a couple of edits. And that's the ghost story for this chapter. Okay, that looks like the psychic's book. Kind, kind of. It's a spell book. And if you want, you can read this just off the wall, but... It's no devil's oh, crack. Yeah, there's a lot of things hidden here that are pretty difficult to find. I don't like that they did this. It's a lot of, yeah, ghost walls. This room has one of the best things, though. Because, okay, we got the candles and magic book, but there's a, <laughs> a skull, a, like, satanic book, and a dead mouse on this table. <laughs> nice. Is the door also blocked by a chair? The mm. door seemed to be blocked by a chair. Which I'm guessing someone uh, saw that and got so pissed that they just smashed a hole in the wall. <laughs> so, like, you can read that, but when you... If I hit the information button, I can just read it there, and it's easier to read like that. So. This is what happens when killers don't have access to live journal. <laughs> so there's... So many collectibles, and it's kind of, it's kind of gonna mess up the pacing of this dramatic conclusion. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm getting them. Oh, there's some drama. Yeah, you don't use the. Uh... Yeah, which spell? We got it. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is writing. <laughs> oh, and uh, they say, I think Ronin writes it, but this isn't written in blood. It's actually just red paint. <laughs> so many books, so much snobbish. So much stuff to phase through. Oh, 
joy. Is that a limerick? <laughs> this looks like the Yeah, I think it's more of a limerick than a poem. I should check this all out. There once was a man from Salem. Who uh, didn't like witches, so he decided to kill them. Kill them, yep. Devil made me do it. So, yeah, there was a tabloid earlier that said there have been murders like this in the past. And I guess that newspaper confirms it. Murderous past? I mean, this is happening right now. It's very present. And I have no idea what these words are supposed to mean. That one looks like an Easter egg. I was thinking like a... Like a larva, like grub or something. And there's all of this stuff. He stole their witch treasures. I like that the murderer like categorizes how he kills people. <laughs> like I burned these people, or I hung these people. And I used rocks even though that shouldn't <laughs> you know, that shouldn't be a way to kill I witches. I did five times too. Uh, another one from the 1940s. It's like it's happened forever. And oh, oh I'm, 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 I wasn't supposed to go in there yet. Sorry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Similar murders, multiple killers, decades apart. Is this a string of copycats? A conspiracy? What else did you hide in this house, you freak? What was that? You know, sunny streaks uh. now. But I really that. <laughs> also, uh, I also I, you don't really know whether the bell killer can actually see you as a ghost and he's just been ignoring you. Yeah. Uh... And I sped all of this up because, you know, half of the combat in this game is just waiting. Mark of the Ninja the Saint. <laughs> Imagine, though, ghost grappling hook. Oh, I guess that's what teleport is. It'd be better if it was a literary uh, grappling hook. Also, it'd be great if the crow laughed at them after you executed them. How do we know they are? <laughs> do you speak crow? No, Ronan speaks cat. That's true. Oh, he has to high five though. <laughs> okay, so that's the, that done, I guess. Just two ghosts. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I'm about them ramping it up. Getting from this house are uh, the they actually ramp up a little it's later like in the level. Saying, that's true. Violence tries to take over the new. I have to tell Officer Baxter about this. This could be a vital piece. That's all the profiler memories. We got them. Alright. Uh, do we still need one more piece of info about our killer, or did Joy's poll count? Yeah. What? <laughs> that, that wasn't a yes or no question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, the rest of this up, he's just gonna be moaning and <laughs> groans. <laughs> I need to teleport to this evidence. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the buttons, okay? It tells you what the button is. It's right there on the screen next to the thing you're interacting with. Don't be judgment. This is Judgment House. What uh, do you think I'm gonna do? But the button I forgot was I was looking for ghosts. <laughs> but according to that, there's no ghost on this floor. So, you know. <laughs> it's not like there are suddenly be ghosts here in one <laughs> two. Yeah, four ghosts. I believe that's most ghosts at any one time. 
And this is also way sped up, just because... Okay, so you're going to need the game. cardboard box that folds out into a sexy ghost to distract them? <laughs> yep. <laughs> also, I love sped up, sped up Ronin's cry. That suits his uh, character much better as a obviously junior detective. <laughs> He sounds a bit like Baby Mario, and I like it. So, like I said, this is why I have to speed it up so much, because there's just a lot of waiting. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. The combat is definitely the least fun part of this game, or at least the least interesting. Yeah, I remember from initial previews and stuff, it seemed like this game would involve, like, chase sequences as its action, which is not a lot better, but it would be faster. Yeah. I don't know, like, the, the stealth thing seems like it should have just been, like, in here one or two times. Or maybe been like a late game thing when you're better acquainted with being a ghost. I think it's one of those things where they're like, hey, we want this game to be more of a game, and we know you're late in development, <laughs> but... See, there's stuff all over. I had to look at a YouTube guy. <laughs> Yeah, there's no mini-map either, which I guess would cut into the exploration a bit, but... This, this house is also just kind of confusingly designed. Yeah! Yeah. Judge's diary. I, I would figure that'd be not there, like it'd be... Or not, not like the actual one. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess there's a good museum, they had it out, and then they just kind of left <laughs> it. You, you'd figure the diary of the judge at the Salem Trials... Oh, we've seen this <laughs> picture. Oh, before. there he is. You'd figure they had to be, like, worth some money. Yeah. Well, also, if it was the museum's own version, then it'd be very sanitized. And while I was in the middle of accusing this witch, a not-white person came up and started hassling me. And... Yeah, I forgot. I don't even remember where this area is. Uh, <laughs> this whole this whole map is very confusing. Also, what was with the pop-in ghost walls? I don't know. Okay, finally we're on track. Heading down to the wine cellar and holding cells. <laughs> Observe, show uh, space in the sign. Th thank you for telling me what the sign says. Oh my god, Baxter? I should have been the one that stopped you. Ronan? What the hell is going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you, are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on here. So, who killed you? The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. Had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums, like a witch trial execution copycat. 
At that point, we couldn't let it go, even after Rex demoted me. So that's why you're at the museum. Where's the killer? No idea. He could be anywhere, but when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, 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 wait. The killer actually talked? Not much, but I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon, but he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. Do you know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy would be freaking ecstatic. She shouldn't end up alone. Sandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra has been begging me to track Joy down, but I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. Uh, you mean like what, the help you got from her mom? All right, you get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm going to quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. We can leave. <laughs> just the one new clue. That's just... Yeah. That's a skull. Or not. Actually, it's impossible... I guess you can go back to the beginning of the lever, but after you find what's down here, a door disappears and you can pretty much just go straight to the exit. Mm. So you don't need to go through the entire house again. Well, that's good. I didn't know that the first time I played, so I was running around <laughs> in circles for Also, um, nice, very kind of you, Ronan, to help Baxter navigate the afterlife by not telling him anything about being dead. Does he even know he's dead? I think he figured as much since he acknowledged that he was killed. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was searching the cellar because he said, let's look for clues, but there's no clues in the cellar itself. <laughs> you have to go into, like, the sub-basement. <laughs> Hands. What the hell happened down here? And shoes. I like to imagine that Ronan saw that in the air, and that's his script he read. <laughs> so yeah, there's a tiny cage inside of here. And I didn't know about this before this playthrough. There's oh. this litter tunnel area with a skeleton. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm guessing that has to do with the ghost story. I... Could be, but I don't think Looks so. Looks like a, a cast of a Montiato thing. It's all sealed up. Hmm. Yeah. It looks kind of like you can't walk through it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the way this guy was designed. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. That explains everything. <laughs> He's a righteous. I like that picture too. <laughs> Some reason it reminds me of like stills of Optimus Prime pointing at people from the old Transformers cartoon. <laughs> well, actually, he was no. <laughs> playing. She's playing down here. Justice. How is this just? Hmm. True this. 
Was it the Bell Killer, the only person who's ever drawn these? You stood for justice. Now you're just a ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. It took me a while to find everything. Just because it's the end game. I was up late. <laughs> I was tired. I'm hoping there's a reference yeah. to For Whom the Bell Tolls also. Honestly, the, either there isn't or they don't use it correctly. <laughs> For Whom the Bell Tolls, no man is an island. My it's sweet Annabelle Lee. Annabelle. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they, I want them to just recite an entire poem. Annabelle Lee. Annabelle Lee. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a song that I'm not going to sing. Righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. It takes me to the ends of eternity. I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. Okay, so... Oh, man, no, I guess Julie is already dead, so it can't be her. <laughs> well, Abigail's also already dead, actually, so who knows? Mm -hmm. <sighs> man. So, yeah. Dispatch. Has Rex checked in? He's transporting a suspect to the station and we can't get him on the radio. He isn't picking up his phone either. Nope, he hasn't checked in. We'll notify you when he shows. Copy that. Oh shit, if Rex is missing, it could be going down right now. Where'd you take Joy, you asshole? But, yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, that's... The twist is that Abigail was behind it all. But there's actually another twist. Okay, but also, I, don't, I feel like Abigail wasn't present enough in the story for that to be, like, a big surprise. Yeah, I don't have and, much feeling about her besides kind of creepy. Yeah, she was in the background of a few shots. Yeah. Like, would be having a conversation she'd be watching. But that was pretty much the extent of it. No. Is no leads a clue? Yeah. Instrument of death, meaning her death, where she was killed. The gallows at the museum. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way. That transition in the game was kind of awkward because he's walking with a lot of purpose and he stops for no reason. <laughs> like, he should have just turned around. What we're saying right now may be forgotten. Yep, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna... Do When we thought it was copycat killers earlier in this very episode. Oh, maybe she's possessing people. But 
she's been a ghost for so long oh. she can control people instead of listening to how they always wanted to be a real cop. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna be real. If you notice, I only have 185 out of <laughs> 189. Oh, no. I didn't get all of them. I forgot, like, one or pretty much one in every category I overlooked. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> We're just going with a 99% Do you run, get okay? for 100%? You get a steam achievement. Okay, so nothing. Yes. Like, achievements are nice and I've kind of come around to being okay with them, I guess. Like, I don't know. But they still don't really count as anything yeah. to, like, as a reward. I really like them when they're for, like, silly things Yeah, games. to encourage you to experiment and such. But, like, it's like, you did everything. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. And it took a long time. I don't know. Also, maybe like, people set up unrealistic goalposts for their own achievements. Like, have 99 of every item in your inventory by the end of Final Fantasy oh, VII. Oh, yeah. Not something you'd set an achievement for. Yeah, no, I, I hate when there's achievements in games and I'm like, I'm not going to get those. I also don't like the achievements in, like, Telltale where you just kind of get them. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can do. You're just going to get them all. It makes someone the most sad you possibly can, which involves sometimes lifting their spirits so you can make them feel worse later. So, all of our Julia uh, notes in this chapter are kind of sad and upsetting. And one of them, right now, is very ironic. Because he's saying, I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> It's like that scene in that Jack Frost movie where he says, I don't need snowmen, and then he gets killed and he becomes a good, uh, snowman. <laughs> um, I didn't see Jack Frost. You know, I well, don't know how many people have, actually, but I'll believe well, you. You know what they say, Snow Dad is better than No Dad. <laughs> God, I, I'm 100% sure that that's from the movie. It is. Because... That's what the bully says, <laughs> and even though he's the bully, he has some good points. <laughs> Re snow and dads. <laughs> well, a lot of collectibles yeah. this chapter. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, there were. It's a case of the good jam. But, uh, there's some sketchy editing in this episode because I had to get all of these. Well, you didn't even actually get all of these collectibles, which is even worse. <laughs> Look, reality won't stop dunking on me. 